Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. WWE has confirmed three matches for Bash in Berlin so far, out of which two bouts will see top champions put their titles on the line. Neither of the world championships are likely to change hands at the upcoming premium live event. However, with three weeks to go, Triple H has a chance to fix his biggest mistake from SummerSlam. It is worth noting that none of the tag team titles from either Raw or SmackDown were defended at the last PLE. The division has suffered since WrestleMania, lacking good storylines and monumental title changes. But the game could announce more title matches for WWE Bash in Berlin, which may see new champions being crowned. Here, we look at three such title changes that can happen at WWE Bash in Berlin. So without further ado, let's begin. Finn Balor and JD McDonough defeated the Awesome Truth to win the World Tag Team Championship in June. The Judgment Day members have not defended their title since, but may end up losing their gold the first time they put it on the line. Jey Uso's recent backstage conversation with Sami Zayn hinted at them potentially eyeing the tag titles. The Judgment Day has relentlessly targeted the two babyfaces on WWE Raw. Now that Damian Priest and Rhea Ripley are out of the faction, G. Uso is no longer bound by his cordial equations with them. If the match is booked, G. Uso and Sami Zayn may dethrone Finn Balor and J.D. McDonough as the World Tag Team Championships at WWE Bash in Berlin. This week's episode of Monday Night Raw saw damaged CTRL and the Pure Fusion Collective lock horns for a shot at the Women's Tag Team Championships. Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark from the newly formed faction took on Io Sky and Kerry Sane in an exciting bout while the champions, Isla Dawn and Alba Fire, were seated at ringside, scouting their potential challengers. However, an accidental kick from Stark to Dawn caused the champions to interfere in the match and end it via disqualification. The Unholy Union's regular interferences helped them gain a spot in the title match at Clash at the Castle where they won the gold. Now, Isla Dawn and Alba Fire may end up having to defend their titles against both damaged CTRL and the Pure Fusion Collective. Not to forget, former champions Bianca Belair and Jade Cargill have a strong claim to compete for the titles. Triple H could book a massive fatal four-way match at WWE Bash in Berlin involving all the above-mentioned teams. This possible bout could see Cargill and Belair walking out of the upcoming PLE with the Women's Tag Team Championship. The Bloodlines Tamatonga and Jacob Fatu defeated DIY to win the WWE Tag Team Championship. Last week, a tournament kick-started on SmackDown to determine the new No. 1 contenders for the said titles. The Street Profits defeated A-Town Down Under to advance in the tournament, whereas DIY progressed following a win over Pretty Deadly. The next few weeks will see two top tag teams reach the tournament finals to earn a title shot against the Bloodline, and the new challengers may get their match at WWE Bash in Berlin. This would be a perfect setup for Jimmy Uso to return and cost the heel faction their titles before he declares his alliance with Roman Reigns. If not, the original Tribal Chief may make a surprise appearance to ensure the Bloodline loses in the title match, setting up his first confrontation with Jacob Fatu. WWE has done an excellent job at keeping both superstars apart, and we may see their first interaction unfold at the upcoming PLE. The air crackled with anticipation as WWE Bash in Berlin loomed on the horizon, promising to be an electrifying spectacle for wrestling fans worldwide. The spotlight was firmly fixed on two colossal figures in the wrestling universe. Roman Reigns, the reigning Universal Champion, and Jacob Fatu, a rising star with deep family ties to the industry. Their long-anticipated meeting was not just a match, it was a clash of legacies, cultures, and fighting spirits. The background Roman Reigns, often called the Tribal Chief, had cemented his place atop the WWE hierarchy, dominating opponents with a blend of power, skill, and charisma. His reign had been characterized by a ruthless efficiency and an unyielding resolve, positioning him as a cornerstone of WWE's modern era. Meanwhile, 
Jacob Fatu had been making waves in the wrestling world, showcasing his incredible agility and strength reminiscent of his lineage, an offshoot of the Anoa'i family tree that included legends like The Rock and The Usos. The stakes for their showdown at Bash in Berlin were monumental, with three prestigious titles on the line. The WWE Universal Championship, the Intercontinental Championship, and the tag team titles currently held by the Usos. Each title held its own significance, and the possibility of a changing of the guard loomed large. The Stakes WWE Universal Championship This title represented the pinnacle of WWE success, a symbol of dominance and prestige. Roman had held the belt for over a year, defeating every challenger that came his way. But with Jacob Fatu's growing popularity and skill set, fans began to wonder if the tides would turn. Fatu's fans believed he embodied the spirit of a true champion, one who could usher in a new era. Intercontinental Championship Often seen as the title for the future stars of WWE, this belt had its own storied history. It was held by wrestlers who would later ascend to the main event. Jacob Fatu had been eyeing this title for some time, making a name for himself in the ring and proving he could hang with the best. Roman's reign as Universal Champion had often overshadowed other titles, but the Intercontinental Championship could serve as a crucial stepping stone for Fatu's rise. WWE Tag Team Titles Currently held by the Usos, these titles represented teamwork and strategy in the ring. However, the possibility of Fatu teaming up with another rising star or even turning on the Usos added an element of unpredictability. The tag division was heating up, and Fatu's connection to his cousins made for a compelling narrative of loyalty and betrayal. The build-up. As the date approached, the tension escalated. Both men began a war of words on social media, with Reigns mocking Fatu's size and experience, while Fatu countered with the heart of a champion and the legacy of the Anoa'i family behind him. The promos were electric, and the anticipation grew among fans. Would Roman Reigns continue his dominant reign? Or would Jacob Fadu rise to the occasion and claim his spot among wrestling's elite? In the weeks leading up to the event, both men engaged in a series of confrontations that showcased their strengths. Roman's brute force and cunning tactics were matched by Jacob's agility and resilience. Each encounter only intensified the narrative, with hints of betrayal, alliances, and unexpected partnerships swirling around. The Night of Bash in Berlin as the lights dimmed and the iconic WWE theme music blared through the arena, the crowd erupted. Fans were divided, some rallying behind the tribal chief while others passionately supported Fatu. The atmosphere was electric, a palpable sense of history in the making. The stage was set, and it was time for the titles to change hands or remain in the firm grip of champions. Match 1. Universal Championship the main event began with Roman Reigns and Jacob Fatu squaring off in the center of the ring. The size and presence of both competitors were awe-inspiring. Roman started strong, using his experience to keep Fatu on the defensive. However, Fatu's quickness allowed him to counter, and he quickly showcased his impressive agility, launching himself off the ropes and delivering a series of high-flying moves that sent shockwaves through the crowd. The match reached a fever pitch as both men exchanged signature moves, with Roman attempting to lock in the guillotine choke, only for Fatu to escape at the last moment. In a dramatic turn of events, Fatu executed a stunning superkick, staggering Roman and igniting a roar from the audience. The near falls and dramatic moments piled up, leaving the crowd on the edge of their seats. Match 2. Intercontinental Championship Next came the Intercontinental Championship match. Fatu, buoyed by the energy from the crowd, had a chance to prove himself once again. The match saw Fatu face off against a cunning opponent in a battle of wits and strategy. His resilience and agility were on full display as he countered every move, demonstrating that he was not just a family legacy, but a true competitor. Fatu eventually seized an opening launching into a breathtaking finisher that left his opponent sprawled on the mat. The referee counted. One, two, three. The arena erupted as Jacob Fatu became the new Intercontinental Champion, a significant milestone that would elevate his career and solidify his status in WWE. Match 3. 
Tag Team Titles The final match of the night featured the Usos defending their tag titles against an unexpected alliance. Jacob Fatu and a surprise partner, perhaps even one of the legends of wrestling, adding to the narrative of unity versus betrayal. The match was a whirlwind of high-flying moves and athleticism, showcasing the chemistry between the two teams. In a stunning climax, Fatu and his partner executed a double-team maneuver that left the Usos reeling. As the referee counted the pinfall, the audience erupted once more, and the new champions were crowned, creating a stunning new dynamic within the tag team division. Conclusion The UV Bash in Berlin became a historic event, with Jacob Fatu emerging not just as a challenger, but as a champion in his own right. The narrative of family, loyalty, and rivalry had intertwined to create a captivating spectacle, setting the stage for future showdowns. Roman Reigns, while defeated, remained a formidable force, leaving fans eagerly anticipating his next move. The legacy of the Anai family continued to thrive, but now with Jacob Fatu at the forefront, challenging the very fabric of what it meant to be a champion in the WWE universe. As the crowd left the arena, one thing was clear. The future of wrestling was brighter than ever, and the saga of these two titans was far from over.